G'day guys, another quick video this morning. Uh, finally, getting the kayak back out. It's a little breezy this morning, but hoping it's going to be okay. Uh, we've got it on the modified mangrove jack trailer now. So this is the first time we're actually testing it out. I guess the good thing about this is you can set it all up so that everything's on there. All loaded up, all the gear in the bins. So it's all ready to go. When we get down there, we just put these wheels underneath as we get it off, and uh, then hopefully can wheel it down and launch it. We're going to see how easy it is to get through the sand. Not quite sure where we're going yet. We're going to have to have a look at where the wind is blowing and where it's most protected. I suspect Safety Bay will be out. It's probably going to be Shoalwater or Rockingham Beach. Uh, we'll have a look and uh, drive along the coast this morning, see how things are. And with a bit of luck, we'll get that back in the water, which has been a while now. The little hand trolley here is really a useful addition. Anybody who's got a fairly small boat that they want to move around in the garden, uh, you can do it manually with that, and it makes the job very, very easy. It's a little squeezy coming through the gates over there. As you can see, the coaster is parked up, but we just make it with a little bit of moving around of the stern of the kayak. So it's pretty handy not to have to back the coaster down, which is something we have to do with the bigger boat if uh, we take it out on the big trailer.
this morning's little trip down to the beach and uh, paddling around with us was a bit of fun. Proof of concept uh, worked out okay. The trailer seems to work as intended. We've got three straps on it. Two at the front are these just uh, finger tightening things. They're not very good because they can come loose but uh, they are really just for extra protection. So we've got two of those up front and then we've got the proper ratchet strap across the back and that's what really holds it. And uh, as you probably saw in the first video, we've just got the rope on the front there just to hold it in case everything else fails. I was quite surprised this morning, quite a strong wind and uh, previously I thought this anchor really wouldn't be much good but it held in the sand, I was quite surprised. There's quite a lot of wind blowing, it wouldn't really keep you steady in uh, a really strong wind but uh, was strong enough this morning and the canoe was pulling against this quite heavily and it did hold me in place so that's a good thing I really didn't think one that small would do the job but it seems to at least now the one thing I really don't like about this setup are these wheels they are a bloody nuisance they're the sort that fold out they fold out and you're supposed to just support the kayak with those while you put straps across the top. They're a total pain in the ass. They do make a style that uh, has prongs on top and the prongs come up through these drain holes. Now once you've got the prongs in and the weight of the kayaks on them, it's not going to fall off. These things continually fall off, especially in soft sand or any kind of lumpy ground and uh, obviously I'm not going <laughs> to keep pursuing those, they're uh, a pain. They've got two straps that come across the top, there's those two black buckle straps that we're using just to secure the front of the kayak. And they're just not sufficient, they don't do a good job at all. These things come loose as you're moving along and uh, the wheels just fall off. Now, it happened this morning and it wasn't even particularly lumpy ground. As you can see, that is not something that's going to stay really tight. And uh, hopefully the ones with the prongs on will fit at least in one of the sets of holes that this canoe, canoe, that this kayak has on it. So hopefully it will be either the back set here or one a little bit further up. Pretty happy with it. As a fishing platform, uh, I wouldn't want to catch a big fish in one of these. And I, and I certainly wouldn't want to be in one if a shark comes nosing around. Uh, you're not very high above the water. <laughs> I'd much rather be in a dinghy. But other than that, pretty good. And uh, that's it for today's video. Thanks for having a look and uh, we will catch up with you again on Saturday. This will be a midweek video because it's not really a, uh, a proper one. It's just a very quick look at uh, the first test trip with this trailer. Okay guys, cheers. We'll catch you later. See ya.